I'm here at Mercury's dealer meeting at the Contemporary Resort in Orlando, Florida to show you a boat you've never seen before. This is Maxim's 2300 and it's got a revolutionary new feature called the Control Max Docking System. The company's marketing manager, Bill Penzak, is here to tell us a little bit more about this really unique system. We developed the Control Max system basically to take the hassles out of boating. Uh, consumer research told us that a lot of people had trouble docking even if they were con considered themselves to be experienced pilots. Now, taken from the side, the 2300 SC appears to be a traditional high-end sport boat. She's got a rakish profile that lends a touch of speed to her looks, as does her step-tall bottom. But there's nothing on the outside that tips her hand as one of the most revolutionary sport boats on the market today. That secret is revealed when she does this. The 2300 is the world's first boat with the Control Max docking system. This is a combination of three thrusters built into her hull bottom that let her spin, go backwards and forwards, and even slide absolutely sideways into and away from the dock. Our test showed that you can do all of this by simply using the control joystick at the helm, and you never have to touch the wheel or the throttle to get underway, as it's all done via the thrusters. There's one in the bow and two in the stern. The 2300's hull is specially designed to let water flow around the tunnels while underway, yet it lets water enter them efficiently while maneuvering around the docks. Protective grates cover the bow thruster to prevent debris from entering, as do sturdy guard bars in front of the aft tunnels. The Control Max system also has a dash-mounted shutoff switch, which can automatically disable it when kids are aboard. This is a great safety system, much like window locks on cars. But there's much more to the 2300 than just the Control Max system. Aft, a four-rung swim ladder drops down easily from the integral swim platform, and a handy trunk is a good place to stow gear and has a shower built right in. A ski tow eye is standard equipment, and the non-skid is excellent here. They're seating for three or four across the aft bench, which does a great job of hiding the stern drive power plant below. Our boat had a 5.7 liter Merc Cruiser, and access to the dipstick, fuel filter, and drive lube oil is easy through a hatch beneath the bench seat. Moving forward, the fore and aft facing jump seats slide and drop down easily to form a sun pad directly across from the helm to starboard. Here you'll find a tilt wheel and bucket seat with flip up bolster for easy sit down or stand up driving, and access to the foredeck is easy as well thanks to two molded in steps leading up to the walkthrough windshield. The cutty version of the 2300 also has a V-berth below with small galley and even a portable head. Out on the water, we put her through her paces and got a top end speed of 46.7 miles an hour and a best cruise of 25.7 miles an hour at 3000 RPM. She hopped on plane in about four seconds and can run for nearly 200 miles in between stops at the fuel dock. Our tests here have shown conclusively that the Control Max system really works. I think this is a system that's going to give new meaning to the term boating made easy.